it just occurred to me how many of my customers fans that might be watching this video might actually be professional salespeople in my line of work um, I'm a salesman and being a salesman is not a bad thing being a salesman just simply means that you have a product or a good that you have to sell that is of value that solves somebody's problem that's all it is it's that's all you're doing is, is solving somebody's problem now as a professional salesperson and I've been a salesman for better part of 30 years uh, I was a car salesman I became a finance director I became a general sales manager and the economy crashed and here I am building ponds and I love what I do I love my job but I was just on the phone talking to a fellow contractor and he was just really downright discouraged and he was having a hard time with um, you know business overall and he's talking about all these things and and the guy's having some really good wins he sold he sold a nice job he sold a remodel he's uh, converting a pond into a pond list and he's got all these great things and he says yeah but then my other local competitor he's killing it he's doing this and he's doing that and the problem is, is he's not celebrating his wins he's not celebrating his victories so today's 10 talk is on the, the road to a sale and how important how important it is that you follow a very necessary step and it's this the wins are great celebrate your wins how big how small they are it doesn't matter you need to celebrate absolutely every single win but you know what's also really super important is is that you celebrate the things that you do that lead to the sale and let me talk to you about that let me explain to you what I mean by that okay I'm gonna set down my earbuds I want to use my hands <laughs> this is really important this is solid gold so again the reason why I'm pointing this out to you right now is is this I know that I've got people that are watching this video that are professional salespeople whether they're in my industry or not I've got professional salespeople that are watching this video right now so what I'm gonna give you right now is solid gold for you okay you need to be celebrating the things that lead to a sale like for example in my industry uh, every January we start off with spring cleaning we start off with um, sending out letters or, or doing phone calls or doing an email campaign to be able to line up customers for spring cleanings why because it's important to do that this time of year so if somebody says no that is actually that is in, in a way a win I'm gonna cover that in another video but the victory is is that today I made 40 phone calls today I sent out 75 letters today I um, I sent out 2,000 emails today I did this right and so here's how you're gonna do this so if you've never really worked this way in this mindset before I'm gonna tweak your mindset just a little tiny bit and what I'm gonna do for you is amazing watch this you are going to take a calendar of the month and you're going to break the month down into four weeks because there's 4.33 weeks per month do the math I'm right okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this week or what is it today is Wednesday so start start with Monday okay that way you can just you know enjoy whatever's gonna happen for the rest of this week here but starting Monday you're gonna have some solid goals okay so Monday uh, you're going to say I need to make this many phone calls right and you and, and you set a goal for a reasonable number of phone calls to make right and you also want to make a goal for this many contacts because not every time you dial that phone you're gonna actually get in touch with somebody so you need to make a goal for how many contacts a contact is somebody picking up and saying hey how are you you know I'm so glad you called because I need your services right so set a goal for for phone calls set a goal for contacts right then what you want to do is you want to set a goal for things that you can do like sending out emails sending out mass mailers right and so however that fits for your business the business that you're in you need to set those goals out and then what you need to do is at the end of every single day you need to celebrate the wins so let's say that today uh, my goal was to make 20 contacts okay then you got to pick up the phone and you're gonna probably call 40 people to make 20 contacts right and then you're gonna say today I won right and you know what's gonna happen is is that calling people 
making those contacts will lead to a sale. So you need to do that. Um, maybe perhaps another goal that you might have is, is uh, customer service. Um, I let my customer service slip really, really bad in 2019 and I'm working hard to fix that right now. So one of the things I'm doing is, is I'm following up with my customers, something I haven't done in a very long time. So that's a big deal for me right now. It's very important because I know that I need to increase my customer satisfaction ratings. So in order for me to increase my customer satisfaction ratings, I have to do something called follow-up. So how many follow-up phone calls are you gonna be making? I'm just loading your head with a bunch of ideas right now because this is the solid gold that's gonna put money in the bank, number one, and it's gonna separate your business out from, the, from your competition. So I'm just speaking from a place of honesty right now that um, we really blew it and we're working hard to fix it. And so that's something that we're doing. So watch this. The law of averages, the law of averages, the law of numbers states that the more work you put into it, the greater the results. You can't sit in an idle position and expect great things to happen. You actually have to get out there and do the work. So where's the bonus? Where is the real bonus come from? The real bonus comes from, it's really simple, the real bonus comes from when, uh, when the phone rings. So if you're out there aggressively making those phone calls and you're aggressively um, trying to generate business or sending out letters or doing those follow-up calls and that sort of stuff, right? Then that's great. That should be your bread and butter. But when the phone call rings because of some of the evergreen marketing that you've done in the past, like your website or some social media or those types of things, that's icing on the cake. That is not supposed to be the thrust of your business. In my business right now, we're killing it right now with certified Aquascape contractor leads. It, my, my close ratio on those is just huge. It's through the roof right now, which is great. And I'm so thankful for Aquascape for that because it's just been a really great source of income. But it's really a dangerous, slippery slope when you start to depend um, or when your business starts to depend on any one particular kind of a lead that's coming in. So what I came up with years ago was, was the idea of, um, of what I called sending out ships. So I, I, I figure like this. So if I, if the, if, if I wanna catch shrimp, then I'm gonna send a shrimp boat out. If I wanna catch um, yellowtail, then I'm gonna send a yellowtail boat out. If I wanna catch uh, lobster, then we're gonna go lobstering, right? So I send all these ships out for me to bring in certain types of business. Like I'm gonna send a ship out that uh, generates cleanouts. I'm gonna send a ship out that generates repairs. I'm gonna send a ship out that generates dot-com sales, right? And so when the phone rings, that's the evergreen marketing returning the business back to me that I've already put the effort in because I did the steps that lead to the sales somewhere down the line earlier on. So that's what I want you to do. So if you're a professional salesperson, if you're one of my uh, fans that's out there on my YouTube channel, um, or if you're uh, a competitor and you're watching this video, I'm kind of giving away one of my best secrets and I want that for you. But the most important thing is, is this, is that if you want to be successful, you have to do the work. If you do the work, then you will be, um, that, 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 then you have something to celebrate. You have something really big. Listen. You struggled through this video so far, eight and a half minutes. Um, you definitely care about your business. And I care about your business too, because a rising tide lifts all ships. And I want this industry that I'm in to do well. I want the industry that you're in to do well too, because if your industry does well, then guess what happens? Your rising tide buys ponds and water features. It's as simple as that. So as a professional salesperson, I want to throw this tip out there for you because I want you to succeed. If you're new to my channel, if you've never seen anything from Columbia Water Gardens before, then we do all sorts of fun stuff. I'm going to take you through and walk you through just a really cool project that we're in the final stages of completing. We've got waterfalls. We've got all sorts of really neat things going on. It needs to be landscaped. But if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. Um, also, Put your comments down below. Let me think. Let me know what you think about this video. Uh, I answer almost 100% of the comments that, uh, that are left behind. And uh, if you like this video, also you might want to share it. I'm Carl with Columbia Water Gardens, and this is another 10 Talk. Happy ponding.